So finally, Binance listed Luna 2.0. So we had a price surge here just because you have to check out what actually happened to the price and what could happen here to the future of Terra Luna. So let's go. So only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed here to my channel. So if you want to help me reach 50,000 subscribers, just hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really helps the channel out. And you can always change your mind later. So since here, Luna 2.0 jumped 75% in the last 24 hours ahead of Binance listing. This is exact thing thing that happened so basically if we go here this is actually terra classic so the price of terra classic here is at 0 0.00012 almost here we did go down here by 15 percent so 783 million mark cap here the volume here did go by 150 percent so 350 million dollars here for the volume but we did in the end get rejected here for this high so the high here in the end was about 17 i think it was even more so for that yeah 18 but as you see we in the end did go down we didn't break to some new highs but let's go and check out the new one the luna 2.0 basically the luna 2.0 right now is at 8.6 dollars and the high was at 12 dollars here so that's pretty interesting to see that look at the volume 527 percent more volume than before if you go here to the markets we have binance now yeah and the volume here is mostly coming from binance here so that's why I did say that the Binance listing is going to help this Luna. Now, how much will it increase? I can really know. So, in the end, if we do look at it, we were at like six dollars. We doubled it all the way here to twelve, and then we got rejected. And basically, now we're stabilizing. We're back at eight point six. So there you go. Mark cap. It says here it's one point seven billion dollars, and the volume, like I said, eight hundred and fourteen million dollars. So let's go through the updates. So first thing first, saying here. So Terra Luna saying here. Attention, Luna airdrop. Uh, recipients we are aware that the, we are aware that some have received less luna from the airdrop than expected and are actively working on a solution so more information will be provided when we have gathered all the data so stay tuned it looks like some people didn't get their luna or at least not get enough of luna as they should have gotten so that's that's not good that's really not good so terra here is trying to solve this issue here and this is a huge issue so if you're somebody who didn't get your tokens you need to send them a message and tell tell them you didn't get all the tokens you were supposed to get so let's continue so dokkan here not pretty not he's just not saying anything we have here his tweets and replies just saying he switched network to a classic and token should be visible so if you have any errors just do that and that's it but binance did, did post something so it says here binance completes the terra luna airdrop distribution to terra classic and terra classic usd there you go so binance has completed the terra luna airdrop distribution to terra classic luncy and terra classic usd and holders users can confirm the receipt of these tokens in their uh, spot wallets via distribution page in the user center so there you go it says here please note to kindly ensure that you are you have not selected high zero balances to view your luna tokens in your spot wallets deposits for luna tokens have been enabled withdrawals for luna tokens will be open from well basically here tomorrow it's going to start tomorrow so u.s persons and entities and sanctioned countries are not eligible to receive this airdrop oh okay okay that's interesting so yeah th this is this is what happened in the end so if you're from the u.s you didn't really get the airdrop so uh, that's pretty bad but probably have like u.s binance or something like that so if you go check out the chart here for bitcoin we can see the bitcoin did go up and a lot of coins did go up with bitcoin we have here cardano that's making some new highs here also so that's like 18 percent increase but luna luna has been going down now we have to talk about the future of terra luna here because what's gonna happen now uh the the bonus listings are done people already got their airdrop tokens not everybody got the, as they should but it looks like the rest of them are going to get so what is the future of luna right now that's the problem we don't really know so for now there's nothing <laughs> yeah basically there's, there's nothing that's gonna that needs to happen here that's going to make the value of both the coins actually go up because right now this is it so we need to wait for some d apps and in time luna is going to go up again because the trust for luna is destroyed now the problem is but what i see with luna is that people use luna so they can stake their tokens so they can like earn more tokens in the bear in the bear market so the basic thing you could have done in the bear market was basically if you're just gonna hold 
go stake it on Luna because on Luna you, you will get like the best percentages and people did do that but the problem is in the end the stable coin broke and plus the Luna broke and they, a lot of people lost all their money. So what now? If they don't have a stable coin, what's Luna going to be famous for? Because like I said, they were famous famous for their stable coin because it was a stable coin that was pretty good and the APY was amazing. So basically just by holding, just by staking your UST on their website, you could have gotten like 20% more every year. So if you had like $10,000 by the end of the year, you're going to have like uh, $12,000. So now they don't really have that. So what's going to be the plan? How are they, their apps going to work? So that's my question right now. What is the direction that Terra Luna is going to go forward with? Because right now we're pretty much in the dark. So because we're in the dark, at least everything is done now. At least now we have like the, the new chain. The old chain is still here. You can still trade if you do want so. But the development for this old chain is going to be stagnant. So I don't believe a lot of new things are going to happen here to the, new, to the old chain. But to the new chain, yeah. We're going to see some interesting things. Um, again, the problem here with the old chain is that it's still pegged to the price of UST. So even if we do go up, it's just going to go down because of UST. So do remember that. So it cannot go forever up. It cannot go back to these values unless somebody puts in money into UST. That's the only way. And somebody needs to put like billions and billions of dollars if we want something like that to happen. So pretty much it's not going to happen. So we need, if we want Luna to go up, the new ST needs to go up with Luna. So that's that's the biggest problem we, hear, we hear, have here with Luna, the old Luna, so the Luna Classic. So that's why I don't believe the new Luna has a chance here to go back to its all-time highs because it has to peg with UST, it has to fill UST, and it's just not going to work like that because we just don't have money. We're not going to have enough investors investing into it to actually make it back. So maybe in time there is a chance, but it's going to take a long, long time here for something like that to happen. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here. I think I have one more post you want to talk about. Yeah, this one right over here saying that Terra, uh, can Terra Luna 2.0 price pump back to $30? So yeah, the all-time high here for the old, for the like, the new Luna is like at $30. So the question is, can it pump back? Saying here, Luna price rallied. 5,900% after a successful reboot on Saturday, May 28th, and set a new all-time high at $30. This run-up, while impressive, was brief, leading to reversal and an 88% crash and set a swing low at $3.5. A quick run-up after the move rated a swing high at $10, which essentially is the range that a Luna 2.0 price has been hovering inside of over the last two days. As this calling out continues, there is a good chance for Terra Bulls to band together and trigger a massive rally. The rally did happen, but that's because of the Binance listing. The reason behind this bullishness is that assets tend to revert to mean after a massive move in either direction. In the case of Luna price, such as a mean revision is likely to be higher given the 88% crash witnessed recently and because the decline was so sharp, it seems likely the recovery will be equally sharp and come over the next few days. So, a recovery above 50% re uh, reactment level at $6.8 will be the first confirmation of this bullish move. So, following this, loan price could make a move for the range high at $10. However, for the mean revision to occur, Terra must head back to the midway point of the 88% crash, which gives us a theoretical target of $16. So, what happened in the end? We reached, we reached twelve dollars. But if you actually go here to Binance, which is a whole nother story. If you go here to Binance, if you check out Luna BUSD, so the new trading pair, uh, we can see where we hit like nineteen dollars. So that's that's pretty insane. We actually hit, hit nineteen dollars right now. We're at eight point seven. A lot of people did sell off, as you can see. A lot of people did sell off. But basically now it looks like we're trying to slowly climb back up. Can we continue to go up? Well, now people are going to trade here on Binance. So there's a chance here because of the mass amount of volume that we could make some little bit of a highs, but not too much. And plus Bitcoin is bullish right now. So we're in a bullish market for now. Like a, a, little, a little, 
just a little bit more bullish here for Bitcoin. And because of that, I do see that we could continue to go up. But if Bitcoin gets rejected, you better expect that Luna here will absolutely go down with Bitcoin. So there's a lot of things going to happen here, but we're going to see. I am excited. Hopefully we do make the reversal. Hopefully we do continue to go up here and try to make some new highs. This is like I said, Luna 2.0. Do you have like a Luna C? Yeah, we have. There you go. So this is the old one. So boom. It's seeing here the old one tried to reach. Oh, that's awesome. So it did reach here, like I said. Like my prediction was that we're almost going to hit like a 30 here. Or at least hit 30. We got rejected, but it's this only lasted for like a minute or something or so. So whoever got this, yeah, they, they sold it at a pretty good price for now. In the future, can uh, Luna Class go up? I believe it can, but the problem is right now, it's a lot more going to be focused on the new Luna. And in time, the old Luna maybe can go up, but not too much. At least I don't think so. Also, if you didn't know, like this is listed in the innovation zone. So Luna 2.0 is in the innovation zone. So yeah, risks are there. Like massive risks are here. So do be aware of that. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't mean so much me, if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.